morning. The sun just started to peek through the trees. There's this nice soft light and I have morning voice. Um, but hello. I, I want to do a video of a week in m my new normal life because things couldn't be more different than before all of the panda bear. Today's Monday. I, I don't know what the date is, <laughs> but it's a Monday. So, and we'll end this video on a Sunday. Normally, Monday mornings, I'm not doing anything regularly. I don't know what my hair is doing. Uh, but this Monday morning, I'm actually subbing for a cardio strength class. Normally, I teach in the evenings only, but sometimes I end up subbing. So, this Monday is actually a really busy Monday. Not as busy as like two Mondays ago, but I'm subbing the cardio strength class in the first thing in the morning, and then senior chair or like aerobics class at noon. And then I go to the rink at three, and then I teach again again, some cardio dance at seven. So it's all like blacked out, but there's not enough time in between to really get anything else done. So yesterday I prepped, of course, for today. But yeah, I just want to say hello, and that's what I want to do for this video. A week in the life of my new normal. I will see you when I see you. <laughs> Look how pretty the light is. No light? Light. Um, so I, I'm a little more awake now. I consumed my, my caffeine, well half-calf actually. Life hack, if you are an anxious human, drink half-calf. If you really love coffee and you do want a tiny bit of caffeine, but not like surging through your body and like adding to your anxiety, do half-calf. It works, it really works. So it's just reading a little bit and I used my jade roller that was in the freezer to depuff my face. I don't really use it actually to depuff so much as wake up. <laughs> There's something about something ice cold on your face that does magical things to waking you up. But now I'm gonna throw on my headphones and meditate for a little bit right before I leave and then I'm gonna brush my teeth because I had coffee. I always try to brush my teeth after that because coffee is so acidic. And then I'm off to work. I'm at work. Gotta put my hair up as best I can. I saw a deer on the side of the road grazing on my way in. Of course, I did not film it because I do not believe in filming while you drive and I don't understand why people do that. I always have my sister film for me if I drive past something pretty. Here, this will keep the frillies at bay and throw on my mask. I look like Christmas in July <laughs> and it is time for work. Okay, let's go. Done teaching cardio strength class. I had to show my cute outfit. Time to go home and eat breakfast. Yum. now I have a matcha and I also do drink water I will be drinking my bucket of water soon <laughs> or my first of three buckets of water soon so like most mornings I don't you know I don't teach in person you know today was a morning that I subbed in person and maybe I'll insert like a clip of me almost every morning that I don't teach in person I teach here at home virtually and I teach actually back-to-back -back classes I teach two tomorrow I'll insert the clip here of future Pauline hello <laughs> Future Pauline for the next day. Um, I wanted to show you what I do on my mornings where I'm not teaching in person. I teach at home virtually, and sometimes I get to do it outside. So here's my little setup. I have my weights. I use a dry erase board to write out my like class plan, and then I have my laptop over here playing music for us and all that fun stuff. Oh, how large is it on the face? Didn't know that. Um, but yeah, I just finished teaching my first class. And this is my little water break, and I'm gonna teach my second class. We did bar boot camp, that's why there's weights. And now I'm gonna teach slow flow, which slow flow outside in the breeze, so nice. But yeah, back to past Pauline or current Pauline, you, present, present Pauline, I don't know. You know, okay, bye. Hey, it's future Pauline, but past Pauline, because this is a video. Um, it's one of my lighter days, so I'm going for a run. Got my sneakers on, got an old fashion show t-shirt on, and sunscreen. And we're gonna enjoy a podcast. 
So yeah, that's how I like to start my chill days, is with a run. And if, and if it's like a super chill day, we go for a bike ride. But yeah, I'm, I'm a ski dad. Thank you for that, future Pauline. Um, so yeah, I teach two classes and then afterwards I usually stretch, which I'm actually gonna do that now since I'm still warm from the workout I just taught. Usually I stretch and then I eat breakfast after, but because I have to be right back there at 12 and I want to start digesting my food, I'm gonna actually make my breakfast now and eat it while I stretch. But that's actually my normal. Almost every morning I teach stretch, eat breakfast, and I've already have some work done before 10 a.m. <laughs> which is really nice. I've made the decision that we're just gonna be filming today as the day and I will insert clips from other weird moments in the days of the week that are slightly different from, you know, today, Monday, um, cause not every day is exactly the same, but every week is the same. So yeah, I'm gonna make breakfast and stretch, then it's right back off to work. Done teaching my second class. My headband matches my shirt. More chill outfit. Time to hurry home and then head to the rink. Back home, finishing my water. Now, normally in the middle of the day, between teaching in the morning and at night, I usually am studying. Oh, hello there. Hi. This is future Pauline doing her homework. Let me show you myself here. Let me pick you up. Hello. Okay. So we got our blue light glasses. We have a fan, which I have turned off at the moment. Just so, you know, noise. I also have matcha as always. I also have my diffuser going with some nice, I think it's a, it's a it's a very citrus scent that's called Cheer Up Buttercup. It's like a mix. So we're taking notes. We have whatever that mouse is. This is actually what I store all my wires in. It's actually to store makeup brushes, but it matches my computer case. I can kind of show you. I listen to lo-fi while I study, um, but I have this little stand here that has very much helped with my neck, as well as a view of the great outdoors and sunshine so I don't get sad. <laughs> but yeah, I assume like everyone else, I really enjoy listening to lo-fi music, but it was kind of something that I discovered during quarantine. I like I knew in the back of my mind that I liked lo-fi music, but I didn't know it was called lo-fi music until someone was like, oh yeah, lo-fi. And then I looked up and I'm like, I'm obsessed. I love like Studio Ghibli lo-fi mixes, as well as ambient noise. I love like cafe sounds. It has gotten me through <laughs> being stuck at home. I didn't realize how much I missed ambient noise. Not people, but ambient noise. <laughs> But also, I wanted to thank you for um, liking that lo-fi video that I put out. Cause like, it was nice and like a super fun, chill thing for me to do. But I'm also glad that you liked it. And I might do it more regularly cause I really do enjoy listening to lo-fi music, putting together little playlists, as well as filming scenic views. I'm thinking of doing one with clouds. It's like about daydreaming next. But thank you for the love and support for that. Okay, I'm gonna send you back to other Pauline and I'm gonna get back to studying. Normally, all day long, I just study, maybe throw in some chores in between. And often I mow the lawn, but I try to mow it early in the morning, right after I teach in the morning or first thing in the morning if I have nothing else, depending on the weather, of course, because I try to avoid being out side in the sun at this hour. So on my mornings off, um, depending on how heavy my work schedule is because it's such physical activity, it kind of dictates what I'll do as well as the weather. <laughs> um, but because it's actually kind of cool out and the UV is low, I'm mowing the lawn this morning. Now I, our lawnmower has a battery, so I only get about half the lawn done, but I'll be able to finish the other half tomorrow. But if I have like a lesser work, work week, <laughs> If like I don't need to mow the lawn, but I have the morning off, I'll like go on a bike ride because it's nice and gentle, like very calm. Hello, 
a very common thing that happens when I mow the lawn is I find these little guys. Say hello. Can you see them? So I always have to go rescue them and I put them in our sandbox that hasn't been used in a very long time. So I don't run them over. I'm trying to save you. Stop trying to get free with your tiny little hand. Look at the tiny little hand. Speaking of which, I have to put sunscreen back on before we hop in the car and start driving to the rink. But before that, I have to pack my lunch because I eat in the car as soon as I get off the ice so that I can start digesting my food as soon as possible so that I can go teach cardio dance because something about jumping up and down with like belly full of food is not the best idea if you have a sensitive stomach. Who'd have thought? So for now, I have like 20 minutes to drink water and chill and then pack my lunch and go. Cheers. Hello, we just got on the ice and of course I am really bundled up right now. But look, as always, we have completely empty ice. It's just my sister and I, this is how it is always. And we still wear our masks because it is a public space and children are running around. It is time to skate. And today's plan is to start working on choreography for a routine I need to put together, just a short little routine. My sister and I need to do a qualifying competition in order to go to nationals again, national showcase again next year, because we haven't gone since 2019. Yeah, since 2019. Um, and we decided we didn't need to qualify if we wanted to go compete this year, but we decided since it would be all children who are the only people who can't get vaccinated, that it might be a little bit unsafe still so we opted out, which means we're gonna have to do a qualifier and we'd rather do one that's like close and local and small and a little bit later. Oh, I forgot to mention, I usually put in my uh, Bluetooth headphones. I got them for 20 bucks. They're knockoff AirPods. They work great. The speaker system, it doesn't always work. I like to listen to podcasts when I skate. <laughs> like I, I, I'll skate to music when I wanna do like routines, but when I'm just working on skills and warming up, I like to listen to podcasts. Am I the only figure skater who does that? If you're a figure skater and you're watching this, do you listen to podcasts ever when you skate? Or should I, I'm, I, I'm the weird one? I, okay, okay, yeah, I thought so. Okay. <laughs> back home from the rink and now I have about an hour and a half before I have to leave again to go to work to teach. Oh my gosh, big fuzzy bumblebee. But also, what a throwback this is. So as you might have noticed, I've left the house a lot today. And that is something that has definitely changed the most since uh, the pandemic. But it's also changed the most since pre-pandemic because I used to be away from home. Like I'd leave in the morning and I wouldn't get home till basically I went to bed. <laughs> and that was about five, six days a week. And then the seventh day of the week, I was gone most of the day as well, but just like not that much. So even though I like left the house a lot today, my, my job's only a mile and a half from where I live and the rink is the furthest drive, which is only about 25 to 30 minutes, really. Yeah, I leave the house a lot less now. In fact, some days it's only once and there's about a solid three days of the week that I don't leave the house at all usually. And I like it. <laughs> I don't want to go back to the way I was running myself ragged before and I really feel like I worked well on finding balance of work and relaxing and resting and recovering because that's really important especially with what I do is a very physical job. So sometimes I work out once a day, sometimes I end up working out three or four times a day and if you don't recover and rest you either burn out or overuse injury. That's the reality. It's such a weird topic too of being out of the house frequently now, you know, can be perceived as unsafe. I mean, I don't go anywhere without a mask. 
I just don't risk it and I stay away from people. I do not touch people. I do not touch surfaces. I sanitize things in the gym before I, you know, even place my own mat down. The ice rink's nice because it's just my sister and I out there. I mean, other people have used the ice before us, so we, you know, we recognize that. But yeah, I feel less likely to become burnt out as many times as I have been before. It took time off and actually resting for me to realize, oh, that was a bit much. <laughs> but yeah, I have about an hour and a half now to do some work, but it's fun, easy, chill work. It's making playlists, it's probably one of my favorite parts of my job. I made my playlists for today, but I need to make them for the rest of the week. I didn't get around to that yesterday. I was just too tired. Yeah, that's the plan. And then we'll, when I get home from work, we can do kind of my night routine. Oh, hi, Rusty. Look how wild the sun is today. It's been so hazy. I imagine this is what it's like in LA all the time. <laughs> This lighting is gorgeous. Even though the sun has been so weird, I'm so sweaty. I don't know if you can even tell. Um, so I'm done teaching for the day, which is so nice. I get to go home now. But like, it has been hazy all day. And usually, you know, when like the sunlight pours in the windows during the daytime, it's kind of bright white light. It's been distinctly orange. I think you saw maybe when I showed you that clip of Junior, how orange the lighting was. It looks cool. <laughs> but what does it mean? It's been really hot and humid. It might be because of the humidity. I'm just babbling now. I'm gonna go home now and we're gonna do our wind down evening routine. It's time to chill out, make a mug cake maybe, and watch The Bachelorette. Mm -hmm. These are my brothel bloomers. <laughs> Like, this is clearly like, these are bloomers, right? They're so spacious, so comfortable. And like, I feel like I need pearls and I have my hair up, you know, in curls and like dark eyeshadow and I would be the madam of a brothel. Upon recording my day, as well as little bits of tomorrow to show you what I do on other days of a day in my new normal life, um, I kind of realized I might be that girl. Comment down below if I'm accidentally that girl. And then I'm not gonna show this because I do it right before bed, but I'm gonna tell you guys that my night routine, the last thing I do before I go to sleep is I journal. <laughs> I feel like I'm accidentally that girl. Am I accidentally that girl? Let me know. But yeah, I like to journal and write down all of the things that I did in the day, even though your self-worth is not measured by your productivity. I like to recount what I got done, because sometimes like at the end of the day, I'm just so tired, I feel like I didn't do anything. Does anyone else do that to themselves? So I like to journal like, oh yeah, I did this and I did that and I got all these things done. M making a note of, oh, I did good today. I tried my best. That's kind of what I journal at night, right? And that's the last thing I do before bed. And it really does help me fall asleep quicker. And then I put on my sound machine. Lately, <laughs> I've been listening to Swamp Sounds. Hi, Junior. So it's like crickets and bullfrogs and like, the babbling of water. Like, oh, this must be what Shrek hears in his swamp. No wonder why he didn't want a loud talking donkey there. Very soothing when you want to sleep. So I'm assuming Shrek slept like a rock. Hello, it is Sunday morning, Pauline. And I just got finished teaching virtually. On Sundays I teach Tabata, which is like one of my new favorite things. It's basically the OG high intensity interval training. And then I teach chair yoga, both are virtual, so I get to stay home but I was able to teach outside today, which is so nice. And yeah, I wanted to close this video with how I end my weekend or start my week, so to speak. So on Sundays, other than teaching in the morning, I have the whole day kind of free. I like to plan out all of the classes I'm teaching for the week, put together playlists. Um, I make a thumbnail for my video that goes up, usually if I didn't make it the night before, which that's what I'm doing today. I also go through like my Sunday self-care, skincare routine. I basically give myself just a little at-home facial kind of treatment. If I get have time, if I get everything I wanna get done, like laundry, all of, I just, 
all of the little chores so that I can start the week fresh. And if I get those all done early, I'll sit and study a little extra. And usually we watch a movie. I think tonight we're gonna be finishing the second Matrix movie. I had never seen them. In my defense, they came out when I was a newborn, you know, but I'm very excited to finish the movies. And yeah, I wanted to say thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you want more vlogs. I'm actually considering doing like one vlog a month. Does that seem like something fun? Oh, subscribe if you want to see more. Hit the notification bell if you want notifications. Although I usually post every Sunday at noon Eastern time. Like this video if you liked it. Comment down below what your new normal is. You know, what things have changed since, you know, what's different for you now that you're getting back into life. <laughs> uh, you can follow me on Instagram at Pauline Does Things, same username as the name of my channel. My arm is getting tired because I lifted weights this morning and it's like my phone feels way heavier than usual. Also, you can follow me on TikTok at Pauline Makes TikToks. And that, yeah, that that's it. That's the video. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a gorgeous, wonderful, beautiful day like yourself. And I will see you again next week. And bye. <laughs> See you later.